This treatment is for tendinopathy at the origin of the hamstring tendons. We're going to take the power up to 3 bar and the hertz up to 10 hertz. We're doing 2000 shocks and we're going to use a focused head. So in this case a 15 millimeter convex head. We're going to go up to the insertion. It's been shown higher powers can increase neurovascularization into the area and increased healing rate. We're going to put some gel onto the area but we actually need to find the origin of the hamstrings, the ischial tuberosity. I put the gel onto the area and then we're going to come on with the 15 millimeter focused head. Just use your finger again to find the actual origin and then put the head onto the origin. Once you get the shockwave going, just work around the origin. You're trying to get the bone tendon interface and get the healing occurring at the bone tendon interface. Sometimes in chronic inflammation, the inflammatory process stalls and this actually helps to get it restarted again. There have been a couple of studies looking at this area and they've all shown good results as long as you go higher with the shockwave. Don't be afraid to go above 3 bar if the patient can take it. 4 bar, 5 bar, or in this case, you know, 120, 150, 180, 85 millijoules would be fine. Um, we're not going to go up as high as the 0 0.6 millijoules a millimetre squared that uh, Ron Piatel used in 1998, but uh, somewhere in the higher levels is a good number. We'll do 2,000 shocks at this area. Let the shocks run through.